Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is the Super Spy. Listen to this. Mally! Yeah, released by SNK in 1990 on the Neo Geo, initially in the arcade, then on the Neo Geo home system, then eventually on the Neo Geo CD. I don't want to know how this would play on the Neo Geo CD. Having said that, I've only played this once before very briefly and I sucked at it, but didn't the Neo Geo CD only have a one-speed drive? I don't know. Correct me if I'm, by all means if I'm wrong. Anyway, right, you're a, you're a spy called um, Roy Hart. <clears throat> you're a manly spy. Look at your manly motorbike gloves. Yeah. And uh, it's a very early example of a first-person shooter, I guess. And you're, you're going up a skyscraper um, to take out a terrorist group known as the, um, the Zolgi or the Zolg King Terrorist Group. I mean, seriously, it's 1990. What, did Cobra have, like, uh, the copyright on good terrorist group names? Anyway, never saw this in the arcade. Only saw this in magazines back in the day, like um, Me Machines and uh, CVG, and absolutely shat my pants over it. Because while not a true first-person shooter, this obviously... Does this this predates Doom, doesn't it? Does this predate... must predate um, Castle Wolfenstein. I don't know. But look how smooth the scaling is. It's epically smooth scaling. But yeah, Neo Geo was something back in the day that, you know, everyone has shut their pants over. But you made no qualms about the fact that they would never be able to get one because of how expensive it was and how expensive the fucking games were. Anyway, from what I can tell, you've got four buttons. You've got punch, kick, uh, and then you've got down, which is duck. Up, when a door is open, lets you go into a door. And then you've got change weapon, which gives you a knife or a gun. Top left is your ammunition. Let's put some money in. <clears throat> Look at him. Yeah. Manly man. Right. Basically, you're Bond, aren't you? Come on, start. Right, so, use A button. I'm playing this on the Xbox, the, my modded Xbox, so I, and I'm playing it on an Xbox pad, so I don't know what anything is. But that's your axis, top right, I guess. I don't know what those people are at the top of the screen. Top left is your ammunition. Right, let's go. There we go. All right, there. So, look. Nice. Uh, lightning. Parking garage. Garage? Garage. St stolen from... Uh, ooh! Nice. You can... Well, you, if you press it while you're on the floor, it does its magic. Satisfying. Look how smooth the scrolling is. Scrolling, the scaling is. Right, get in there. Can't have a body in front of you, which makes sense. Anyway, terrorist uh, <clears throat> camp and arms factory. I, and, and, well, that's... What's, what does that even mean, Basil? Satisfied. Oh, look at you! So it's clearly Nick from um, GI Joe, isn't it? That's no bad thing. Was there an arrow? There is an arrow that tells you which way to go, isn't there? Hang on. Where is it? Well, I don't know. There we go. Right. So. Holy shit, he's Thor, the Thunder God. Did anyone see that? Where's my health? Did I not think about... Right, it, I'm the only fucking MI6 bloke in the building. Yeah, I'm assuming those little things that we... Um, they, they pop up a upgrades, bullets, stuff, health. We were kept in force to build bombs. This is fucking terrible, <laughs> English. Uh, I don't know if this is the arcade. Well, the arcade was the home port, wasn't it? But yeah, they've all got fucking... Well, why are they scuba divers? They've all got fucking body armour. And I may be, you know, on a Majesty's Secret Service and all that shit. Soon not to be with budget cuts. Why didn't I think about wearing a vest? Or at least picking up one of theirs? You, shame on you. Silly, stupid spy. Go to spy school and learn shit again. It's a little... Ever so it's a little bit clunky.
Oh, that's cool. It does properly scroll. Well, it doesn't properly scroll. Properly scrolls compared to going through doors. I do like that effect, though. What the fuck? Break out the guns! You can get a machine gun, apparently. Well, I mean, apparently. You can at the start in the demo. Sideways. Baron Zemo, Baron Zemo from uh, G.I. Joe. Don't make your sex noises when I shoot you. It's really disconcerting. Bad guy. Put a spray can. Yeah, don't bring a spray can to a knife fight, you dumbass. Was that the boss? Right, we're going back. So basically, it's almost a reaction game. Oh, yes. Money, 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 money. Or a martini, please. Does, where was it? Was there an, oh, that's my health. The yellow bar at the top's my health. Now, you would expect it compared to the games you had at the time on the, the Mega Drive and the, the you know, snares and well, to a lesser degree, the Amiga and the Atari ST, but I mean, again, you know, because of the, the size of the, the cartridges allowing for memory and shit. What does that mean? Oh, it's like explosions. But yeah, the sprites are amazing. Open up. There we go. I can always spider man me. You stole all these fucking things from other co companies, uh, you know, original uh, licenses, I guess. Complete brain fart, then. There we go. Something very Indiana Jones about that, isn't there? Don't make a fucking meal of it. Oh, it's this way? Ooh! Don't lose your... Am I, my button sticking? Let that be a lesson to you people. Don't eat crisps in between games. Why can't I... I'm determined to stab the fucker. Go in! Feels a little bit clunky going in. Uh, a machine gun taken from them. Alright. Do I need like a translation book? Oh, look at that. Progression. Uh, rumor says, shouldn't it be you there? Rumor says the bomb terrorist section is in. I don't know. Speak English, man. I can't move up. Is there a certain number of people I have to hit, or I should probably be saving that, shouldn't I? Yeah, fisty cuffs, motherfuckers. The timing does feel a little bit off. Nice squelchy noises. I'll give you that. I'm going back to the fucking guns. Bring out the guns, baby. Breaking the law. Sweet! Right, if the, the factory is destroyed, the terrorists will suffer. Uh, do you mean die? I don't know. So the trick is, do it as quickly as you can. What's, what does that even mean, Basil? Right. Yeah, do it as quickly as you can and you can just fucking get out. Sweet! See, all good spies have a torch. I feel a little bit weird how I progress through the doors. Uh, too much blood, um, artery ticked. Dude, you can't even speak English. Why should I trust your medicinal skills? Blood stopped, I'm stronger. 
Is this a patch game or something? Was it not in English? I don't know. Into the elevator. How can the same shit happen to the same guy twice? Because you're a franchise, McClay. Oh, fuck nuggets. Right, go in. Sweet. There is something really cool about this, though, as crude and basic as it is. Uh, oh, bollocks, I misreading that. I was looking at this off the screen. Give me a bigger fucking knife. Or don't. I want a machete. The knife's fucking more effective than the gun. You know they say don't bring a knife to a gunfight? Well, apparently you should bring a knife to a gunfight. Bring it, we could use uh, a new knife. Yes, give me a fucking machete. Give me a chainsaw. It looks exactly the same. Right, well anyway, I'm going to call it... Am I going around in circles? Of course I'm not, I'm fucking bond. I'm going to call it quits, I think. Let's see what the next level is. Oh, I'll go left. I mean, it's pretty vanilla, you know, rinse and repeat, but there's a charm about it. It must have been, like, mind-blowing in 1990. Come on. But, yeah, I quite like it. I might have to go back and do some more. We'll do some research to see if there is a, a way... Isn't it linear, or am I fucking something up? How the hell are you blocking... Oh, it's got red blood on it. Does that mean it's going to... It means it's going to break, doesn't it? God, they didn't make knives in the 90s like they do now. How do you block a knife with your hand? Go in there. Ah, I'm going to call it quits there. The Super Spy, it's, you know what, it's actually really cool. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.